Hi, it's Joy with the Modern Unicorn. I am talking about chia seeds today. So chia seeds are, in my opinion, the ultimate superfood. And just to give you a little bit of nutritional facts about them, they have four grams of fiber in two tablespoons. I mean, that is gonna aid in uh, weight loss because it's gonna keep you fuller longer. Uh, those of us that are trying to eat plant-based, two grams of protein and two tablespoons. I mean, that's a great source of protein. It's loaded with antioxidants and it's loaded with omega-3s and so that will reduce your inflammation. There are so many benefits. Uh, calcium and uh, manganese for strong bones. I mean, the list goes on and on. So I'm gonna show you today three recipes um, that are very simple. So they're, again, they're they're like, if you've watched any of my videos, they're loose recipes, and it's kind of like the concept of what you can do. So one, um, I'm gonna show you how to make a chia seed egg to replace eggs in recipes like uh, muffins and cookies and stuff. We'll do a cookie uh, in a little bit, but um, I'm going to make a chia seed pudding and also make a chia seed jam that's uh, sugar-free or you can make it you know with honey or something like that if you are um, going plant-based or if you just ran out of eggs and you happen to have chia seeds around um, i'm going to show you how to make the egg replacements so that's one tablespoon of chia seeds to three tablespoons of aquafaba, which is the other name for the liquid in the uh, chickpeas. Now I'm just gonna put this in a small bowl, mix it together, and I'm gonna let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes while we make our chia seed pudding. Chia seed pudding is really simple to make. So the basic ratio is one cup of a plant-based milk with a quarter cup of chia seeds. Now, I like to do it overnight. I mean, you can do it, you know, if you're not gonna have it till the afternoon, do it in the morning, but um, easiest to do it in a mason jar, it doesn't really matter, but um, you can, that's the basic uh, ratio, but you can add in different things. A really good friend of mine who's all into the same stuff I am, she adds um, matcha, um, powder to it and um, maple syrup loves it great idea Claudine and um, anyway so this is kind of the end result but I will show you um, we're gonna do this is homemade almond milk if you saw my plant-based milk recipe you'll know how to make that You want, in your jar, you want a little room for um, expansion because they these chia seeds will grow on you. All right. Whoop. And let me grab a spoon. I'm just gonna mix this up. If you want to add, um, I don't know, let's add a little maple syrup in there. Maybe a little vanilla, why not? Okay. I'm gonna cover this, set it aside in the fridge overnight and you have a perfect breakfast. So chia seeds are going to be great for athletes. So if you're going on a hike, you have a tennis match, you're going for a run, um, you wanna get some chia seeds in your diet and it's going to give you that extra stamina and also sustain your energy and hydration, it's great. So because that is a, um, it digests really slowly. So we're gonna let this sit um in the refrigerator and this is the end result so i'm just giving this a little stir because it kind of separated overnight but they're all plumped up and um 
putting some in a bowl here. I'm going to top it off. Now this has chia seeds in here. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this um, later on. But um, it says blueberries and acai and some chia seeds. So I'm going to sprinkle that on top and maybe top it off with a couple of bananas. Could throw some nuts on there or berries or whatever, um, but it really has a great flavor and it's a good replacement for yogurt or oatmeal, but it's a great thing to have first thing in the morning or as an afternoon snack or before a workout. Mm. I don't even add, excuse me, <laughs> I don't even add any sweetener to this, but throw some honey on there. It's awesome. Okay, we're also gonna make um, a chia seed jam, which is so awesome. And it's, so it's not, it's a refrigerated jam. It's not um, one that you're gonna seal. So it has no pectin or anything like that. Um, but what I'm gonna use is this uh, triple berry blend. Um, you can use any fruit you want. It doesn't have to be frozen. I just think this is super convenient, it's organic. I got, and it's inexpensive because I got it at Costco. Um, but you can use any kind of uh, fruit that you want. Now the basic uh, ratio is, okay, you ready for this? One cup of fruit to one tablespoon of chia seeds. So one cup of fruit for every, or one tablespoon of chia seeds for every one cup of fruit. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you, like speed it up, but I'm gonna use my Dutch oven here on the stove, and we're going, I'm gonna do this entire batch. It's uh, three pounds. So if my math is right, that is um, going to be uh, six tablespoons of chia seeds for this entire bag. Then all we're gonna do is I'm gonna zest this lemon in there. It's a little tiny lemon, and I'm going to juice it, put that in there. That is gonna add to the brightness in flavor and color. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of cinnamon um, just for another depth of flavor. And also, I'm gonna, you don't have to do it sugar-free, but I like using this Lakanto maple flavored syrup because it becomes sugar-free, but adds a sweetness. Or you can use honey or ma regular maple syrup if you want to do that. So, here we go. I'm gonna show you the quick version of how to make this chia seed jam. So you're going to dump your frozen berries in there. I added about a half a cup of water just to get it moving. And you're gonna just kind of stir it around occasionally so that they can um, heat up and break down. my plant-based milk episode um, when I made the almond milk and, and um, I told you to save that pulp this is this is what I um, mostly use it for because it just you can come to it comes together really quick so from the almond milk recipe you are left with this pulp inside of the nut milk bag it's um, about three quarters of a cup but it's that recipe that we use 50 almonds for Anyway, so we're gonna put that in there. We have our chia seed egg. And we have some unsweetened coconut. We're gonna do about a cup. 
cup of that. And then we're going to do some, oh, this is an open. Hold on. We're going to do about uh, a half cup of Lily's chocolate baking chips, which I had an episode on those already. And a little splash of vanilla. And I'm going to use my, oh, left it over here by the stove, my Lacanto maple syrup. So we'll do about, um, eyeball it, like a quarter cup of that. And mix this all together. My, my um, oven is preheated to 350. chia seed recipes. My cookies turn out great and we made our pudding and we have our jam which is actually makes a great gift. So they're not just pets anymore although I think I'm gonna get that. Um, I just saw a, a unicorn chia seed chia pet so I think I'm gonna get that and have it be my mascot. But anyway try these simple recipes make them your own and add your own ingredients. And if you um, did the five day detox or saw the episode that I did on your super five day detox, in that bundle is this forever beautiful and it has chia seeds in it. It's a great thing to do for before a match. I take one teaspoon and shake it in a, um, in a um, water bottle and uh, it is great for stamina, like I said, energy and hydration. So I hope you'll incorporate chia seeds in your diet and let me know what you think. Subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Next week, ancient grains. I'm gonna do a, like a multiple part series on ancient grains and how to bake with them and incorporate them in your diet.